Hello, my name is Dennis Connor, and I have a story to tell you. It was back in 1976 that I was pioneering a church in Wairika, California. We had just started up this church with new people coming, and it was on a Sunday morning. It was the tradition, custom of the church at that time that after we would worship the Lord when we would invite people to come down and pray for their needs. They would come down and stand in front, and I would start over at my left and would pray for the people <clears throat> and their needs. But there was a new man that had come this particular morning, and I saw him, and as we were worshiping the Lord. He had made a, a comment to someone about uh, him being new in the area, and he was glad to be there. And as you're checking everyone out and uh, thrilled to see everyone new coming to the church, it was now time as we uh, were ready to pray for the people. Well, I had noticed something on his fingers uh, during the worship time, and I noticed that they were brown from the uh, second knuckle all the way up. And it was, it looked like my first impression was, boy, he's a chain smoker. Because as you know, when people smoke a lot, their fingers and their fingernails uh, do get stained. And then as I'm thinking, as I'm ready to pray for the people, he came forward. And I thought to myself, well, I wonder, now, you know, Dennis, he may not be smoking because when I was a boy, I picked walnuts for a lady by the name of Mrs. Bojedi in Foster Park near Ventura, California. And when we would pick those walnuts, we had to husk them. And when you take off the uh, skin of the walnut, you would get brown on your fingers, and you couldn't get that brown off unless you really used some good Ajax back in those days. So as I'm thinking to myself, I'm wondering, he could have been picking walnuts. I mean, after all, there was perhaps walnut orchards in the area, and times are rough, and this gentleman may be picking walnuts. So as I'm beginning to pray, I'm telling myself, I know what I'll do to find out whether it's walnuts or whether it's cigarettes. Now, he had his hands positioned about this high as he's got his eyes shut and he's going to ask the Lord to help him. And I know when I'm praying for the one, I am about tall enough where I can just lean my nose over and I'll smell and I'll just find out whether it's walnuts or <laughs> whether it is cigarettes. Not that you can't go to heaven smoking, but it might be dry kind of getting there. Well, as I told myself that's what I would do, you'll just have to trust me when I tell you this, but God spoke to me. I mean to tell you, God spoke to me, and I just knew in my knower, don't do it. God said, don't do it. And I'm thinking, my analytical mind, why? You give me a chapter and verse where it says, Thou shalt not smell a man's thumb. And I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to think, Lord, why not? Well, God, when he tells you not to do something, he don't give you explanations. He just expects you to obey him. And I, I'm debating whether I'm going to obey him or not. And so I came to the conclusion, I'll just do a little smell. Not a big smell, just a little smell. Well, as I've got... And I'm right ready to, and position, he still got those hands, and I thought, perfect. So I, as I'm praying, you see, you never know what those preachers are thinking when they're praying for you. But as I am praying, I thought, I'll just slide right by and position my nose and give a little whiff. And as I did, let me just share this with you. I don't know what background this guy was, but there is a certain type of a people that when they go to church, they used to call them in the Quakers the shakers because they would jerk or they would shake. I don't know what happened, but all I know is this, that as I moved my nose over on top of his thumb, he decided to jerk. He jerked that thumb up and it went up my nose. When it did, I gave out a war hoop. It hurt. 
And uh, the fellow that was with me, a man that helped me pioneer the church, was named Dave. He saw my head yanked back with that thumb up my nose. <laughs> and we turned around, and I was trying an embarrassment, and I'm shaking because it hurt. And I've got my hands up. Well, the people in the congregation, bless their heart, they thought I was getting blessed. And you could hear them just, oh, hallelujah. And I thought, hallelujah, forget that. I'm in pain. It was the fellow next to me, Dave, he can verify this. He looked at me, shaking and laughing with me, and said, what were you doing? <laughs> when I said, I should have obeyed God. So that's my story. And uh, it was cigarettes, if you really want to know. Bye-bye. <laughs>